Welcome to season two of the Inspiring Influencer Show. Well, we have had some strange things happen to us over the years, and this past year has been no different, has it, babe? It's so bizarre. But we made it through, and we want to share with you the short version and how it made us stronger. Welcome to the Inspiring Influencers Show. Paul and Jennifer Hansel host interviews with inspiring thought leaders, storytellers, entrepreneurs, and legacy builders just like you. Learn from experts about finding your voice, mastering your mindset, and creating movements with your message. Enjoy uplifting stories and powerful strategies. Get ready to transcend to new levels of success, happiness, and joy. Hi, everyone. Hello. We're back. Now, we had to take some time off between episodes. We took a hiatus. As a number of challenges came up this past year that needed our attention. Now, first off, the roof on our previous house had to be replaced, and little did we know there was some hidden water damage. And all that was discovered during COVID. That then created a horrible mold situation that caused such a health hazard. It really affected our health, but we were planning on downsizing at some point anyways, so we decided to buy an apartment, but that was really challenging during lockdown. It took months to find a place to buy, and then we had to do some renos, and of course the stressful task of moving and downsizing from a large house into a two-bedroom apartment. Now a few days after moving in, there was a small flood from a pipe in the floor of our apartment, and that took a while to fix. Then the moment we finished unpacking and finally got everything settled, a pipe burst in our building. The water flowed into our apartment, causing damage. We then had to deal with the expense and hassle of doing renos all over again. And the second round of renos took even longer than the first. Now the same day that all happened, Jen also had to take me to emergency as my finger got crushed in a heavy door. It swelled up so bad I had to get it drained. Oh, I felt so bad for him. It looks so painful. Now we're finally settled in our new place and we love it. It's all working out, but we had to take some time off to deal with all of that. Now, in the meantime, I actually started another podcast called Women in Podcasting. I started a group just to connect with other women podcasters and then it really took off. So I created a podcast around that group and community. And then I created a membership for that also called Women in Podcasting VIP Club. And that's doing really well. Now we have the two podcasts and we're so excited to start the second season of the Inspiring Influencers Show because we have such a passion for sharing people's inspiring stories. Plus, guess where we've been invited to speak? Podfest Expo in Orlando, Florida. I'm leading the Women in Podcasting track. And I'm speaking on a panel for mindset and mental health. We're so excited about it. We would love to see you there live and in person. People are craving connection right now, and it's going to be a really good time. So if you want to join us, we'll have a discount code, a link in the show notes that you can click and get 20% off your ticket. Now, we've talked about some of our challenges that took place this past year. Now, we do recognize that many people over the last couple of years have had challenges of their own. They have had to change directions in their personal or professional lives and pivot. So today we want to share with you three things that have helped us in getting through difficult times, getting unstuck and moving forward, and they can help you too. So as we move through these, think about where you are now, where do you want to be, and what is it going to take to get you there? So the first one is resiliency. Now we need resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover from and successfully adapt to adversity. Developing resilience and strengthening your mindset is helpful in turning obstacles into opportunities. Strengthening your emotional resolve so you can accept the challenging situation you are faced with and move forward. Now, how well do you adapt to change? It is important to accept that change both positive and negative, is a part of life. Also, what is negative today might be positive tomorrow. Now, now is the time to learn from what didn't work without regret. As circumstances change, 
We need to have the flexibility to reinvent ourselves. Building resilience will also add to your confidence in the future. Now, we know staying positive has helped us the most when faced with challenges, and we know it can help you too. At the very least, it does feel better. Next is authenticity. We need to remind ourselves that sometimes done is better than perfect. We need to show up. Be you. Know what your passion is and strive to share your purpose with the world. Take actionable steps that keep you focused on your goals and priorities. Having focus is important if you want to achieve your dreams. So here's an acronym for focus that we like. Follow one course until successful. It is also important to try not to let self-doubt creep in. Strive to where you want to be, not where you are. Progress towards your goals. And we should all strive to wake up determined and then go to bed satisfied. Now, I know that is something I need to remind myself. Now, here's a way I like to look at consistency. Doing similar things again while improving on them. Learn from what you did and what didn't necessarily go right the first time. Reflect on how far you have come and how far you'll go. The third one is opportunity. A lot of people started their own business during the pandemic. And now this is a time for resetting. So if you want to do what you love and love what you do, we've got resources that can help you in our academy. I love helping people turn their ideas into action and results. Having my own business really helped me through the pandemic. This past year has made us so thankful for what we have, what we've come through, and what we've created. So thank you everyone for being with us today. Yes, thank you to all our listeners. We so appreciate you. So we'd like to ask you, who do you know? We're looking for more thought leaders, public figures, and experts to feature on the show. So please send them our way. And we'd love for you to subscribe to the podcast and consider leaving a five-star review. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye for now. See ya.